No shit. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching you episode 10. Now, in the last episode, Beck, Beck found Joe's, um, all his collectibles, we'll say. Everything he's been collecting, you know, from all of Beck's, like, clothing, to her old phone, to Benji's phone, the Peach's phone, fucking teeth. Like, why would he, why would he keep the teeth? I, like, why? I mean, unless, I'm pretty sure they were Benji's teeth. He might rip them all out, so if someone finds, like, Benji's body, they can't identify him if you like, you know? Like, if you can't recognize his face, you know, because Joe probably beat it in so much. You go to his dental records and find a match or something. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so Beck found him and Joe realized she found him. So he brought her to the dungeon. <sighs> She's locked up in the bookcase right now. See, like, where does Joe go from here, though? Like, he, he, I, I think he kills her. I think he kills her because, like, there's nothing he can do unless he just keeps her in here forever. But that's not obviously that's not realistic. So I think he, I think he kills her. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As early access to season two, the first two episodes of season two will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Me, he'll do whatever the hell he did to Candace. I need to yep. yeah, what happened with Candace. Why? What he murdered her. I hope like the show confirms what happened to her in this episode. Like they have to. It's season. This is the season finale. They have to. So I'm gonna call her right now. Candace is dead. The Instagram he showed her of Candace, like she made it, she changed her name or whatever. I think he faked those photos and he murders Beck, so. And you'll stay in until you understand. Understand. <sighs> Dude, Mooney was toxic, bro. Then rubbed off on Joe. Joe! I'm here. Bro, how could you do this to Beck? Like, what? How long? Are you gonna keep me in here if this is just temporary? Um, only 10 years. Oh, well, honestly, I haven't thought that far ahead. I, I just, I need to know that I can trust you. Dummy. Everything I have done, I have done for you. I wish I knew what you were thinking. Bro, it's pretty fucking obvious what she's probably thinking. Like, she just connected the dots. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me you didn't kill Pitchy. Mm-hmm. Tell me you didn't kill Peach. If you knew what I knew. Dog. <laughs> you had no valid reason to kill anyone. I'm like... We're gonna get through this. Dude, no, we're not. I tried to protect you from the truth. Now I need to protect us from the world. It's pointless to try to explain anything to you without evidence. So? So we both knew Benji was a dick, right? We killed an innocent kid. No remorse. I fully maintain he was sociopathic and dangerous. Dangerous for you. Bro, that's you. <laughs> she was obsessed. She was hoarding these for years. She needed to own you, to trap you. Bro, this is a lot to dump on back right now, dude. Oh my fucking God. They're all stuffed in like this. But they're just mementos. Are, are you wearing my shirt to sleep? You can't tell me that's so crazy. He's <laughs> trying to play it off. Okay, but why do you have it in a box, like hidden? Like, and like you took it without her knowing. <laughs> It's weird. Like, we know why he took him, but like, trying to play it off is like, it's a moment. Yeah, what about the teeth, dog? Are you gonna explain that there? Benji's. I had yeah. to burn his body. Yep. Oh, God. No. Please don't. No. No. Yeah, dude. I don't understand. Please calm. You back. killed him! Back, back, back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have me! You don't understand. I would never hurt someone I love. Tell that to Candace, you sick fuck! Oof. You're not listening. Dude, it would be pretty hard to trust you from back shoes, dog. <laughs> Bro, if, she, if he really walked... Oh my god, he's trying to make her right while she's in here. Fuck off, Joe. Bro, okay, okay. What Beck needs to do right here is if she wakes up, she needs to not react, okay? Because good morning. She need <laughs> oh my fucking god. It's okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. What were you trying to do to me? I was just making it cozy. Look. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, what I was trying to say. It's very hard to do, but like if she knows he's just gonna come in while she's sleeping, pretend to be asleep and just kick his fucking kneecaps out. I spent a lot of time in here when I was younger. I was he 
He was my Mr. Miyagi. No, bro. No, he was toxic no, as fuck. Dude. You don't care about me. This place could be your salvation. Oh my god. Here, you're safe. This is fucked. Age was a good thing for me. I'm hoping it'll be the same for you. Look, look, hence typewriter. Yeah, that's why you're like the way you are, though. You're. I feel bad for you, Joe. Mm hmm. Are you out of your mind? What do you think you're hey, doing? Your hey, I got this punk trying to steal oh, a gun oh, from the register. Okay. All right. Damn. Let's go. Go and kill Ron. An idiot tries what you just pulled. I know why you want a gun, Paco. Even if you don't kill yourself with this thing first, the second you use it on Ron, your life is over. That is the definition of dumb. Damn, bro. This is a vein in his forehead. Jesus. Hey. Hey. Let's skip the small talk. I just want to know Beck is okay. Wait. I, I caught her cheating with her therapist. No way. Oh my god. Dr. No. Nathan, is she kidding? Oh my god. Bro, they fucking knew about it. They knew about it, dude. I really thought you two were endgame. Do you really believe that Beck and I are the real deal? Joe, I've known Beck a long time, and I have I've never seen her happier. More like <clears throat> See, this is this is only gonna convince him to keep trying. Trying to dodge that PI because she doesn't feel like talking about Peach. PI. Joe doesn't know about this. We haven't started writing. Jeez, I wonder why. PI snooping around and worried about your neighbor's kid. I know. Pretty dumb. No, it's sweet. Or she's just no. She's trying to make him pull his guard down. There's a good heart in there somewhere. Can I just please? Use the bath, please. This is dehumanizing. Mm hmm. This is she's gonna try and escape. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, back as soon as you get out of here. But you should have okay, what you should have grabbed the fork you're using at your Chinese, put that in your sleeve, and as soon as you walk out, put a, put that fucking fork in his neck. He's, he, yeah, he's not doing it. If you see this place as a prison, that's all you're gonna be, a prisoner. If you see it as an opportunity for introspection and growth, voila, we have a future together. Shut the fuck up. What is she about right? Heart, you learned you didn't have whatever magic turns a beast into a prince. Damn. You surrounded yourself with the girls you'd always resented, hoping to share their power, and you hated yourself. Damn, she's getting deep here. So say you can live like this. Say you love him. Say thank you. Say anything but the truth. Mm-hmm. I don't like having to scour your place for evidence that'd link me to your disappearance. Because I'm not doing it for you anymore. I'm doing it. For me, oh, the cop. a selfish person. Oh, oh wait, no, that's the PI. That's the PI. I hope this PI catches him. Damn easy to judge, huh? Who the hell are you? I'm, I'm the only one in this city who cares about your son. Apparently, Ron has connections. He's made threats. You don't know why. I stand up to him. I lose my boy. Mm hmm. You have no idea what it takes to live my life. They don't write books about women like me. Damn. Damn, that's deep. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, okay, sure, of course. How well did you know Peach? He's asking, but he knows already. Not to be saddened by her passing. You been to her house in Greenwich? That's where she died. No. Yeah. I think you should talk to Beck. I've been trying to get a hold of Beck, actually. <laughs> you spend a lot of time at her place when she's out of town. Mm. He saw me. I, I, I still have a key. No, in fact, I had a key. I returned it last night. He knows he lied. He knows. Found an item. We're testing it for DNA now. <laughs> yeah, you freaking dumbass. I fucking... Oh, my God. Forgot the goddamn jar. Does urine even hold DNA? Will Probably. One thing I learned from my own time in the cage, Beck, never let yourself panic. Bro, he, he knows Joe did it. He knows. He's so sus. But, dude, that, that freaking jar, dude. Oh my god, I like when he put it back, I was like, dog, what are you doing? Like, that's gonna come back eventually. And then I was just waiting for it. It never did, it didn't in that episode. I just forgot about it, to be honest. I've been stupid to be mad. I messed up. And you're trying to help me do better. Yeah, he's waiting for Beck to have this realization moment he had or whatever. And it's like, dog. Do difficult things out of caring for someone. <sighs> that's why I work you so hard, why I demand perfection. 
No, dude. Hey, I'm sorry that I, uh, that I went a little crazy before. What happened? You remember the PI? He paid a visit. I don't think he bought a word I said. I'm not a killer. Hey, oh. Cold-blooded monster, I wouldn't have missed anything that would come back to bite me in the ass like this. I'll go down for something I did for you. And you'd love that, right? I mean, that's, that's what you think of me. Stop trying to justify it like that, dog. You're not a monster, Joe. I know. Come on, you can't expect me to be chill. I mean, look. For the record, I don't hate you. I am trying so hard to understand you. What about Paco? If you go to jail, the kid is screwed, right? You think that's what I want? Mm, yeah, she's, she's trying to get Joe to let his guard down. I mean, when she was riding, she realized it. So. Joe, for Paco, okay? Let's try and figure out a way through this so that you can, so that we can be there for him. Mm, good stuff, Beck. Hey, let me in. Just wanna... Mm. Oh. You know, I don't blame Paco. Cause like, honestly, like, dude, fuck Ron, fuck this dude, everything. But Paco's just so frustrated with this dickhead. Oh my god. Dude, watch Paco kill him. Lure him in here and kill him. Oh, is that Joe in the back? Yeah, that is. But I don't think he's not supposed to. Like, he doesn't know this is happening. He's just coming to his apartment. Yeah. I gotta hurt you. And Joe's gonna see the baseball bat and the doors open. Yep. You're dead. Hey, run. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, no fucking way. Oh my god, Joe just fucking slashed his neck. He didn't slash it, he stabbed. Oh my fucking god. It's all over now, forever, right? Mm, pro probably not. Like, what about his connections? Aren't they gonna be like, yo, where's Rana? And then come here to Claudia and Pog and be like, where was he? Where is he? Sometimes. No, you're do bad things for the people we love. It doesn't mean it's right. It means love is more important. Okay, told him what Moody told him, but not exactly the same thing. Blind verse rendition of your love story with Dr. Nikki. <laughs> Reading. Like that part of it, he's influencing Paco, and then this part, he's doing it with Beck by locking her in here. So it's like, what well, he's basically what happened to him, you know? It's the story of everything that happened. Yeah, it's not. That's probably not what he meant to write about. Sick and would stop at nothing to get closer to me. Mm. And where I talk about a box of mementos that I found on Nikki's property, evidence. So we're gonna blame it on Nikki. See, Nikki is your way out, Joe. Dude, that's fucked mm. up. I get it now. You take care of me, and no one has ever taken care of me before. Not like you. That's all I ever wanted to do. Yeah, she's telling him exactly what he wants to hear. I know that I am better with you than without you. She's telling him all this, but as soon as he lets her out for anything, she's taking off. She's doing something as soon as she gets out of this. Yeah, come fuck me right now. Yeah, yeah. So I can fucking stab you in the neck with this fork in my pocket. <laughs> Just kick him in the kneecaps or the nuts as hard as you fucking can. Yeah, your hand on his neck. Boom. Okay, yep. Oh, oh, dude, there's no way she has the fork in her pocket. I was, no way I was right on that. Oh, oh, it's, yeah, it's piece of <gasps> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, 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 please. Wait, no, no, I know you're angry. Oh, you have no idea what I am, you fucking psychopath. I knew that it was too good to be true. Yes! No shit. You are, I was locked in a cage. <laughs> you actually believe that all of this is somehow justified. Mm -hmm. Insane. You think that you did some bad shit and that I did some bad shit and that this is, this is equivalent? Lied. I cheated, but I... I didn't stalk you. Mm -hmm. I didn't hit you. I didn't kill people. I didn't do any of this. 
and I didn't need some sociopath on a white horse to clean house. I mean, what gives you the right? You thought that I would be grateful? Mm-hmm. You. you. Name of the show. You are him. If you let me out, we can just talk. You know what I think? Fuck no, I'm not letting you out. Oh. You are not special. You're broken. I could never leave you. Side note, Beck kind of looks like Jennifer Lawrence. Not from like every angle, but like right here, yeah. You're gonna spend the rest of your life in jail. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a season two, so apparently not. What what happens here? Does he have his phone on him where he can like, call someone? Oh my god. Joe? Oh, Pac was gonna let him out. Pa oh my god. Oh, I did not know this. God, I need your help. Open this door right now. Joe, he is downstairs and he's crazy. <laughs> Open the door, please! Please, fuck him down! God damn it. Where the fuck did he go? How did he? Oh, he has the keys on him. Duh. Durr. <gasps> mm. He locked me in. I learned a big lesson. Hide a spare key so you can get out of the goddamn cage. God damn it. Put me back in there. <gasps> oh, she got him. Loki, this probably should kill him. Like, that should have killed him, but... Like, that was, like, right in the temple, dude. It's not... Yeah, it's not, it's not this set of keys. Bro, he is knocked out. Like, I... He should be. Oh, my God, of course he's not. Bro, is he fucking Michael Myers? Why was he... How did he... How is he fine after taking that hit to the head with a fucking hammer? It's pretty weird when someone dies and you literally can't get away from them on the... Oh, my God. Beck died. God damn it. It's been a weird four months. Four months later? My girl. Dude. Uh... Feels so bad for back. <laughs> and he framed Dr. Nikki too. In a way. It's true, maybe not everyone was completely convinced. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, this PI knows his Joe. Like, that's gonna carry on this season two. He's gonna prove it's Joe in season two. It's sad you're not here to see it. You would be so happy. Oh, they're moving on. Oh, California. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Good for you. Thanks for always being so good to my son. Hey, Puck. I'll miss you. I'm trying. I am. But I'll admit, it's getting harder to live with so much heart. <sighs> Who could truly love us? Oh, no. Who is it? But your legs are bare. You like a little attention. I'll bite. This is actually her or is this in his head? Hey, bunny. No, no way this is actually... And here. Alive. What? There's no way. No, 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 no. So, uh, I think we have some unfinished business to talk about. Okay. Okay, so I guess that was actually Candace showing up. Okay. Then, like, what? I we, we still don't know what happened between them. Like, what? I, I guess she literally did move. I guess she actually did. All right, so that was episode 10 of You. So I guess Candace is alive. I guess she never died. I guess what they showed us is actually the last... Is actually what happened, you know? I thought they, like, had one more conflict with each other, and then that's when he killed her or whatever. But no, I guess like when she ruined the book and then walked out on him, I guess that was the last time they saw each other and then she pulled up on him here. What, do, what does she mean we have unfinished business? What does she mean by that? Like, I don't know. We'll find out in season two. But I know I was kind of like sighing a lot. Like whenever she's like, Joe was just like, I'm doing this for you, Beck. I'm doing this for because I love you. And she's like, bro, like, stop. Yeah, Joe's definitely a bit delusional, I would say. A lot, a lot a bit delusional. <laughs> Hey, but honestly, I think Beck did the right thing by trying to get out right there. 
you know she stabbed him in like the side like right here i think she should have gone for the neck dog or like when she was kissing him she had like she had like a hand like right here on his face when she was kissing him she should have just pulled her head back and then boom against the wall as hard as you fucking can and then you shank him all right then you get him but uh, yeah it didn't work and then when she hit him in the head with a hammer bro he should have been knocked out at, at the very least he should be dead first of all but he, at least he should have been knocked out for a good amount of time that's so shitty on beck's part dude that's so shitty like the entire time she had no idea he was doing any of this shit behind her back you know protecting her or whatever and then she finds all out in the very last episode and then she finds out how benji and then peach and everything like dude, that's so much to dump on her dude oh my god I, I anyone would be freaking out in that situation like props to her for like getting as calm as you can to at least fake being like oh joe i understand you're doing this all for me you know like she did right there like it would be so hard not to freak out in that situation so but yeah that was you episode 10 comment down below if you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching